there's no time for small talk. I know that you know that I know that you know that you killed Lisa Niles. Okay. What are you gonna do about it? You showed the court the picture, didn't you? It, so why should Maxie be getting out of prison? The blurry photograph of a dark-haired man swinging a wrench at the late Lisa Niles? Yes, I did. So they have to know that it's not Maxie. Yeah, the court refused to vacate Maxie's sentence based on a blurry photograph. So what happens now? It's already happened. I'm afraid I had no choice but to tell the court that the true killer was you. Told the courts that I killed Lisa. And that Maxie confessed only to protect me. I wasn't planning on exposing your crime, but there was no other way to secure Maxie's room. Except you didn't. Yet. There is still a chance. For what? For me to go to prison or for Maxie to be set free? Or both. Look, I realize this is a difficult situation for you, but you did, in fact, kill somebody, so I don't feel that bad for you. Yeah, yeah, you know, because if I go to prison, that just gives you a clear path to Maxie, oh, doesn't it? Okay. Romantic homes aside, they are not the point. Maxie will remain incarcerated in, in, with the improbably named Tiny, and you will continue to evade prosecution if you do not convince Maxie, Maxie to sign that agreement. What, what, what agreement are you talking about? What's this Tiny? Maxie signs this agreement. And if she comes forward and she says that she saw me commit the crime, then she goes free. Yeah, but she refuses to sign. She will not free herself at your expense. The, what she is going through to protect me, it's just, it's amazing. She's a person of rare courage and loyalty. And she saw me do something that was absolutely horrible. And instead of coming forward and say that she saw me do it, she hires the car to cover it up with the best of intentions. Maxie's made a series of disastrous choices, trusting Anthony was among them. And now she's stuck in that hole -ho with someone named Tiny. Which is why you have to convince her to sign that document. You owe her. It's gonna be tough to get her to sign those papers, but it's the only way to escape her sentence. You know that she blames herself for what happened to Robin. That's, she, she believes that she deserves this. Okay, well then you need to convince her that Robin would want her to live a full life, to, to realize her limitless potential. I can try. But even if she lets go of this guilt, she's never going to testify against me. She thinks that I need to take care of my brother. That my freedom is worth hers. Well, I guess the question is, do you agree? Mr. Corintho, sir. Spinelli. Pardon me for noticing, but... It appears the weight of the world rests on your shoulders. Feels about right. You have my heart felt commiseration. I share the pain of knowing that the woman you love is behind bars. Got another visitor. Matt, what are you doing here? I wanted to see you. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Why wouldn't I be? I know what that is. You do? I know you want to help me, but I need you to help yourself. I want you to sign it. I'm so sorry, Matt. I just did. 